What's going on everybody? I was just at my parents' house yesterday and for whatever reason, my mom still had this hat that I made four years ago in 2019. And I thought it'd be a good uh, topic to talk about on the video of how these hats have kind of evolved over the past four years and um, the quality that I'm now putting into them. And um, I, gosh, I, I just can't believe actually myself how far they've came this hat was made from a liquor box that i pulled from the the liquor store here in north carolina you can go in there and they give you the boxes for free uh, it looks like i had maybe topped it on top of a budweiser box just for a base uh, you can see i had to use some scotch tape here to kind of keep everything together because this finish is matte it's not like a, a slick finish with these hats have. So in order for this to not pull apart, I had came up with the idea that tape would kind of hold it together. But you can see the shape of the brim is different now. Uh, this one has more of a contour uh, point in the front. The elastic, this is very cheap. It's almost abrasive elastic band that I've had in this hat very very odd shaped oval I mean it fits pretty decently overall but for instance in comparison this hat has what I call the updated uh, elastic band in it it's got a nice soft sports waistband feel to it and um, you can see the shape is a little bit more oval and just the finish of this box has that 3M laminate that is coated on top of it for water protection and to keep all of the labels where the seams come together from separating, unlike the fireball hat where I just use some scotch tape to kind of keep everything pieced together. <clears throat> I think this is one of the first hats that I was experimenting with on trying to keep the label uh together right here in the middle because previously when I would put hats together stuff would be covered up just like this and um, I wanted to create something that was more unique and just different than having a box that was straight from the store and put together but yeah I thought like I said that would be a good comparison even these right here this is a cloth over poster board style hat um, added a liner in there kind of cover up some of the sewing artwork that had gone in the process of making the hat yeah they're almost like real 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 hats I mean I understand that they're they're cardboard still but uh, for the whole idea of making something unique and also durable and something that's going to stand the test of time. I think that I've almost reached the pinnacle of what these hats could be. And I wanted to say thank you for everybody who's followed me and showed me some support on this crazy little crap of mine. And I uh, hope you continue to watch and continue to support me. And thank you so much.